folks, Jack here from Peach Guitars. Welcome back to the warehouse. Another day, another unboxing. This is one that we've seen fairly frequently and it seems to be one of the very most popular that we do as well. PRS guitars are back. What I like about PRS is whenever we receive a shipment, it's a little bit of everything. So it's not just one particular product sector, it's a little bit from right at the top, the wood libraries, the private stocks, the core line, and we also get a healthy dose of S2s, CEs, sometimes SEs as well. So we're gonna keep with that tradition. We're gonna give a little bit of everything. There's seven guitars today, so not great numbers, not crazy numbers, but there is a little bit of everything. So let's get into the pile. I have no idea what any of it is. We're just gonna start pulling guitars out at random. And as I say, it's gonna be a nice little smattering of all different product lines from PRS. If you're new here and you haven't seen any of our stuff before, be sure to hit subscribe down below so you can see all the stuff we put out in the future, including future unboxings. God, these are very heavy. I always forget how difficult these are to get out of their boxes, but that's because they're particularly well packaged, I would say. Right, let's see what guitar number one is. Never really get tired of seeing these. 35th anniversary Custom 24. So they were celebrating the 35th anniversary in 2020, but we're still receiving the odd guitar from this celebration. So there's a Custom 24 with the 2408 uh, anniversary wiring with the two mini toggles as opposed to the five way. My personal preference is for that because you get eight total tones as opposed to five. Never sure on the names of the PRS colors, but you know, comment down below, you can tell me what they are. All the details, by the way, all the guitars will be on the website. Uh, they'll be linked down in the description below so you can check out all the specs and further information and check out the pictures and all that stuff on the site. But that's a nice way to start. 35th anniversary, Custom 24. Do you happen to know that color name, Luke? It's charcoal something. I'm Maybe. guessing it's a cherry of some sort. Let's go with red. Charcoal red. Okay. And that is a weighty case. If you're one of those people who doesn't like the fact that a lot of guitar manufacturers these days give you gig bags instead of hard cases, then uh, PRS will tick the boxes for you because you're getting a very, very sturdy hard case there. This may be another anniversary. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Ooh, whoops. Hey. There we go. All right, we're starting very, very strong indeed. So once again, same exact spec as that last guitar we just talked about, obviously though, in a very, very catching blue. Really nice blue, natural back as well, so you can see the grain of the mahogany. Well, you can. And then the stunning blue, flamey maple top. 2408 uh, spec wiring, once again, custom 24. And I've got to point out, my favorite thing about these is the headstock inlay. The old school, small bird inlay on the headstock. So there's a couple of very, very different contrasting finishes there for the same guitar. Right, hopefully the next one is gonna be something a little bit different because I wanna have some variety going here. So let's see, yeah, this could be something uh, a little different, let me see. It's in another heavy hard case. Let's see if I can get this out any more easily this time. There we go. Oh yes, lovely, very nice change. So we go from Customs to McCarty 594s. Two of the absolute staples of PRS's core line. Everybody knows this stuff by now. McCarty 594 is kind of the, uh, the vintage take or the more classic retro guitar design, obviously modeled on uh, kind of our friends from, from OG branded company a little bit, but it's PRS's own thing, wonderful guitar. This one's, what's that color called? charcoal something again. I don't know why I can never retain the names of the PRS colors. Forgive me that, folks, because this guitar speaks for itself anyway. Lovely little touches of gold on the hardware as well on these guitars, that two-tone effect. And once again, natural 
unfinished mahogany back. Really nice spec. Really, you know, pretty, not over the top, not too grandiose, not in your face. Just a beautiful example of what PRS do best. And there's some really nice details with the thick binding there, all up and down the neck. That complements the, the natural mahogany look on the back very nicely. So there we go, Makati. I'm glad there's one of those. I'm always pleased when there's a Makati that turns up. Because it's definitely one of my favourites. And I don't imagine it'll be here for very long. So if you're interested in a Makati, I think that's the only one on today's shipment at least. So be swift. Right, what's this going to be? This doesn't weigh as much as a star like those last ones did. So I'm thinking this is... S2, or it could be a CE. Let's find out. Let's see what we've got in here. Okay, so we're into S2s, and for those who don't know, the S2 is kind of the, uh, the gateway or the entry point into PRS's USA line. So these guitars are still made in the same Maryland factory as all those instruments you've just seen but the S2 is kind of a standardized output. They've got a standard spec, uh, no um, sort of, just none of the sort of ornate features that the core line guitars have, but it's still a really nice looking guitar. I think that's, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is faded whale blue metallic, but that's probably incorrect, I'm afraid. If you want the specs, head to the website and they will be accurate. But whatever it is, it's an S2 Custom 24, in a very gorgeous deep blue. 2408 wiring once again, just a really nicely specced guitar and it saves you a ton of money if you don't if you don't really care about the uh, the fancy finishing but you still get all the tone so it's a win-win and i know on this particular delivery we've um omitted i'd say another four or five maybe six guitars just because there's multiple s2s and things like that so there are plenty more guitars that have come in so if you want something very similar bless you if you want something very similar to these but slightly different colors uh, or different variants and so on check out the website for the full stock of the new arrivals i think we've got another s2 possibly here let's check it out you never quite know until the final moment oh, that's what i like about these unboxings know quite what it's going to be and they do often take you off guard catch you off guard so yeah another s2 this is one i haven't seen for a little while the single cut mccarty 594 we see a lot of the double cuts that's my personal preference in the mccarty lineup but a lot of people love the single cut for obvious reasons it's obviously a little bit more traditional it does put you in mind of another brand a little bit more easily but again it's a prs through and through so it sounds like one performs like one plays like one and looks like one. And that is quite a top, considering this is an S2 guitar, sub 2,000 pounds, I'm pretty sure, uh, on the price point. So you're getting a lot of guitar for the money that looks sensational. To get this kind of level of finish from other brands, you'd be paying quite a bit more. But I don't need to tell people this, because if you know about PRS, you know what they stand for, you know what they excel at. So that's a really nice one. I don't imagine in that particular McCarty sunburst, that particular finish, that guitar's not going to be around for very long. All right, we're making a significant process here. We've got two guitars left. I think I know what this one is, but I won't spoil it until it comes out. In case I'm wrong. So. Excuse the pile up of boxes, but you know, this is the way these things go. Now straight away, this feels like a very different guitar just by its neck alone. So for those who don't know, this is the CE24. We've more recently seen these with a satin finish, but this is a return to a gloss top, that very nice sort of dark red fire burst. Gorgeous, unfinished satin maple neck on these guitars. They've still got a really nice dark rosewood board, but uh, I've commented recently on sort of the feel, how different maple necked PRSs feel. It gives a totally different dimension. So you know you may be familiar with a custom 24 but when you play something like this with a bolt-on maple neck 
it's a totally different playing experience and it really takes you to a different place with the tones. You've got a coil split here on the tone and a three-way switch. So it performs pretty much like a regular custom does, but with a different flavor. Like I said, this is definitely, if you're more of a Fender fan, a bit more of a sort of bolt-on uh, traditionalist in that sense, this is gonna be a much more appealing model to you, but it's still got all the hallmarks that PRS do very well. All right. One to go. And I know, I think I know, I'm pretty confident, this is gonna be a pretty tasty one. So let's check it out. I also know it's gonna be a heavy one. All right. PRS fans will know what this case signifies. We're getting into the, the lavish territory now. And this is one of my favorite pieces PRS have put out in quite some time, this, this series of guitars they've done. These limited versions of the Custom 24 from the Wood Library. So again, the Wood Library is kind of where PRS is showing off their greatest pieces of timber and also showing that they are not afraid to sort of stick to traditions. They like to push on and give you some more interesting designs like this. Maple neck once again, and these guitars, these gradient finish guitars, were kind of a little bit of a turning point for me. Like I said, the maple neck, the way these feel and the way these sound give a totally different experience. If you've never played one of these before, you really should, because it will give you a different impression of PRS. If you either love the brand already or you've previously not really gelled with them, this could be the turning point. But that finish, the gradient blue, I don't know how well it's gonna be um, justified on this, in this rather gloomy warehouse, but if you want to see this guitar in all its glory, head to the website, check out the listing where we'll have proper pictures and all these guitars will be videoed as well. So you'll get to hear them as well as see them. But do it very quickly because I don't think, I think the last time one of these came in, I don't think I got to play it because it had gone already. So yeah, these do simmer through pretty quickly, but that is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Great way to end. Nice little selection, I'd say. So that's it for today, folks. But as I mentioned, a bunch more stuff came in. So if you're interested in checking out the full range of PRS that we've got, I've uh, boxed myself in rather, but hopefully you can still see and hear me. Yeah, the full range will be on the website, so get there as quickly as you can. Link will be in the description below, peachguitars.com. Everything has its own set of photos, everything has its own video, etc., etc. We like to do things properly, it's the natural choice. So head to the website if you want to pick one of these up. Take very good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks. Mm -hmm.